Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Ben and welcome to martial arts around the world. I hope you are well. I wish you nothing but the best in your life and I'm just so grateful that you're choosing this time to hang out with me on my humble channel. So thank you, welcome. So I took a lot of time off, right? I took off pretty much most of 2020 and 2021. I've not been active on this channel. Uh, primarily due to COVID, you know, when COVID started, a lot of martial arts schools uh, closed down temporarily. Um, there was a lot of uncertainty with the pandemic and being in close proximity to people and so on. So, as you know, a big part of my channel is visiting uh, martial arts schools, highlighting these awesome entrepreneurs and these awesome uh, martial artists around the world. So I, I kind of paused my activity until I had a firm grip of what was going on um, as well. Um, so obviously we've, we've all had vaccines now, we, we've had the mask mandates, we now have a good grip of what's going on uh, with this pandemic. So I'm back on, in, on the grind uh, and I have some more martial arts schools to share with you guys, okay? So let's, let's have some fun. So for this video, for this video, we're gonna highlight a martial art that I personally really enjoy and that martial art is judo okay judo so a little history and background on judo in case you're not aware of what judo is uh, judo is a grappling martial art it focuses on throws and submissions and chokes and that sort of thing uh, most of what you see with judo is done in the gi gi is the uniform that most judokas and judoka means someone who practices judo most judokas wear gis and they practice you tend to see judo used in olympic competitions and so on and there are a lot of applications that feed into mixed martial arts competitions regarding throwing your opponent to the ground and also submitting uh, and also in real life right no gi applications could come into play as well okay uh, judo was started by a gentleman called jigiro kano uh, a japanese gentleman in 1882 and he's he uh, since he uh, conceptualized this martial art form it spread rapidly a lot of olympians uh, is a prominent fixture in the olympics and so on okay so we're gonna talk about judo, and to kick this off, we're going to head to Texas, San Antonio, Texas, to hang out with my friends at a school called Universal uh, Judo. Okay, Universal Judo, awesome school. It's headed up by a gentleman called Jim Herbeck, legendary trainer, awesome gentleman. He's trained a lot of Olympians, judo Olympians. He's trained a lot of like world-class judokas and judo athletes. So we're gonna meet Jim. And we're also gonna meet a nice, lovely lady called Nina Kutro Kelly. And she, Nina, is an Olympian, right? She's a very accomplished uh, judoka. Uh, in fact, Nina played a big role in me uh, going to visit and hang out with that Universal Judo. So shout out to Nina uh, as well. So we're gonna meet Nina and then we're gonna meet uh, Coach uh, Jim's staff, some of his staff, some of his, some of his students. They're gonna share a bit about, about themselves with us just hang out with them and, and have a good time okay so i hope you enjoyed this segment if you're ever in san antonio ever in texas i highly recommend if you're into grappling and judo that you go check out universal judo hang out with jim and his his class have some fun they're very nice people very laid back um and i had a good time i certainly had a good time while i was there with them okay so i hope you enjoyed this episode have some fun uh if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and I will see you on the other side, okay? Take care, be blessed, and os. Drop your hand down, you can accomplish the same thing right, right here, here, okay? My elbow still goes to the arm there, but what I'm gonna accomplish here is this becomes a push. Hi, I'm Jim. Her I'm Jim Herbeck. I'm the head coach at Universal Judo here in here in San Antonio, Texas. We uh, we've been a long-established club here. We've been in business about 15 years. During that time, we've produced an Olympian, several world team members, 
multiple national champions and a lot of high level competitors from ages six up to 66. Uh, our, our, the general theme that runs through the whole club is winning is the byproduct of, byproduct of excellence. Winning is the byproduct of excellence. We're fortunate to have a good crew of people who are committed, who are persistent and constant, who show up for practice all the time, who pay their dues, and when you do that, you reap the benefits. So we've been, we've been uh, blessed with a, with a good a good formula for success, and it's been it's worked for us on now for almost 50 years. So uh, my name is uh, Nina Kutro Kelly. I am originally from Albany, New York, and I am a 2021 Judo Olympian, and this is my home club, Universal Judo. I started Judo in 1992 when I was seven years old after being uh, kicked out of ballet and Little League and art class uh, for uh, unnecessary roughness, which was not part of those activities and I started training under Jim Herbeck in 1999 uh, at the forerunner of Universal Judo which was Judo America in Albany, New York. Um, I pretty much immediately liked Judo. It's really uh, uh, a game of strategy and a game where um, the people who are good at Judo you're surprised that they're good at Judo because they may not have excelled in other sports and, and people who are phenomenal athletes in other sports don't necessarily make good uh, Judo fighters um, so I really think that that was what was great for me about Judo is I was strong I was somewhat athletic but off the mat I was clumsy and I really kind of found my my niche in Judo um, I have competed for the US national Judo team uh, since uh, 2002 and I fought in the Junior World Championships in Korea um, and I have been a part of uh, eight World Championships teams and I also have three Pan American Championships bronze medals and one Pan American Championships silver medal and I am 10 time a US Judo National Champion. Outside of Judo I have um, two Super World Cup golds in Sambo, which is Russian combat wrestling. And I was a national heavyweight women's wrestling champion in 2005 uh, for the United States. And I was 2013 uh, open rank, uh, open weight BJJ champion in France because I'm a dual citizen. Um, so I have a pretty varied background in grappling and I've always really enjoyed uh, mat sports as a role. I'm Willie Nakahara. I'm originally from Santa Cruz, California. Uh, moved here to San Antonio, Texas in uh, 2014. Um, did judo starting in, uh, I was about 10 years old. My dad was my original instructor. Uh, participated primarily in Northern California judo tournaments. Um, won a few, lost a few. Um, then I started uh, raising a family and uh, came out here in uh, 2014 uh, because of my job. Um, worked here uh, until uh, 2020 when I uh, finally got retired. Um, I was uh, the 2016 and 2019 senior no, veterans champion in my age group, uh, 73 kilos. 
Um, and uh, judo has been a lifelong uh, uh, passion of mine. Uh, my dad has instilled in me the, the, um, the, the need for discipline of your own body, the discipline of your own self. And judo has been a, an outlet for, for me to be able to pass down those same ideas or some, same principles that, that he learned as a, as a young, uh, young boy. And uh, that's, uh, that's what I want to be able to do. So if you're out there in San Antonio or the neighboring area, come on down here and join us and uh, we'll show you what the old fashioned judo is all about. Hi guys, my name is Mariah Holguin. Uh, I've been doing judo here at Universal Judo since I was about 10 years old, so I'm going on about 12 years. I love it here, it's home. Uh, I started doing judo because of my older brother, actually. He did judo before I did, and the second I stepped on the mat, I just fell in love. So, um, my biggest accomplishments, I would say, is I'm a two-time Pan American Open gold medalist. I am the 2019 Junior Pan American Champion. I am a multiple time uh, national champion. I am the 2020 senior national champion. So, um, Universal Judo, I just, I love it. It's home. They treat me like family. I've been with Sensei Herbeck since I started, and he's like a father figure to me and a mentor. So, I love it. Come train with us sometime. Hi, my name is Katie Bernier. I am from Cumming, Georgia originally. Now I train here at Universal Judo in San Antonio, Texas. Um, I've been doing judo for about 11 years since I was 12, I believe. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I would say one of my biggest accomplishments is probably uh, that I just recently um, medaled in a Continental Open. Um, that's a big step for me, so uh, that's what I'm working towards. I'm working on doing more of those, moving up in that. Um, I love judo. It's one of the best things you could ever do in life. It's helped me with confidence and um, just agility-wise, uh, exercise-wise, it's literally the greatest thing you could ever do. It's like a, an addiction, actually. Um, I love it so much. But yeah, y'all should come check it out. It's pretty fun. We have, we have ongoing classes and programs for juniors from age five up through adults that are 70. Uh, we, have, we have classes that involve men and women, beginners, we have recre recreational athletes, and we have some who are involved in competition at very high levels. We're open to all comers, We're, every, everybody's welcome, there's no pressure to compete, everybody progresses at their own level, and we, we managed to put together a great product for a great clientele and great number of people. Okay, Universal Judo in three. One, two, three! Universal!